personal greeting to you, butthole. Thanks for tuning in to TFB TV Mailroom. My name is James Reeves. This is a little program where I open up the mail that you guys send into the P.O. box. I would call it fan mail, but most of the stuff that I receive tends to indicate that you, in fact, hate me. Got some notes, some things I want to talk about. If you hear some yelling from downstairs, it's my wife. Since Tom Brady went to the Bucks, and because the Bucks are in our division, now my wife watches the Bucks because she wants to see Tom Brady get destroyed. Understandable. My good friend Scott up at SIG doing the smart thing. Glock needs to get on this train, bribing me with beer, but a bit of a risky maneuver. Scott insists that these beers from wherever, the Northeast, New England, whatever it is, this is Conehead. IPA from Vermont, Zero Gravity Brewery. He insists, for some reason, these are better than every other IPA, whatever the case may be. Look, guys, I I've said it once. I've said it a thousand times. I have never had an IPA that I liked, ever. Um, and that's including my brother's brewery. I, I never like it. They all suck. And this one probably sucks, too. I can already smell it. I mean, it smells like, I don't know, a Christmas tree and a dog fart. I mean, it's drinkable. How about this? I'm going to say that this is probably the best IPA I've ever had, but I would never voluntarily consume this. I'm just going to do it because we're on mailroom. I mean, 5.7%, not bad. Tolerable, tolerable. I guarantee you this gets two degrees warmer. It tastes like shit. Next, big apology to our Hawaiian viewers. I'm sorry, there is not going to be the Hawaii meetup this Thanksgiving week, as I promised earlier in the year. I'm sorry, Pac, if you guys remember Pac, he's the, uh, the guy who sent me an Aloha shirt a few months ago. Uh, I was really looking forward to meeting up with, with the Hawaii contingent of the TFB TV viewership. However, it's just not going to happen because the COVID restrictions that are in place there are so asinine where I've got to go get a, a negative test three days before I fly, which, okay, understandable. I get it. But then every time we island hop, then I've got to go get another test, like within whatever, 72 hours of island hopping. And it's just such a pain in the ass where it's like our options are either we have to go all the way up to Hawaii, like fly over the goddamn ocean, get to Hawaii, and we only get to go to like one island or I've got to have like some Polynesian witch doctor cram a Q-tip up my butt every time I just want to fly 15 minutes, like go across the water. Can I, I'm just going over there. Can I just go over there, please? So unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Lindsay and I instead are doing the Florida Keys. So we're going to do uh, Key Largo, Isla Mirada, and Key West. I've been to Key West since I was a kid, probably been maybe 15 times or so. If you guys want to have a meetup, probably going to be at Turtle Crawls Monday night before Thanksgiving for the turtle race. All right, gun giveaway, you guys know the deal. If you are a five or a $10 supporter on Patreon or Subscribestar, you're automatically entered to win a gun every single month. We have four winners every month. And I mentioned this last video, Top Gun Supply, they're our sponsor and they sponsor, they give away the four guns that we give away every month. Thank you, Top Gun Supply. As with every gun store, even Top Gun Supply, their inventory stretched a little thin right now. So if there's something, you can't find anything that you like, you can at least get a $350 gift certificate. You can use it later or buy something really expensive or buy ammo or whatever you want to do. I don't care as long as you're happy. Gun winners, November 2020. Silver Spring. Uh, that's all I have for you. I've got your zip code, no email, just Silver Spring. So if you're a Silver Spring, guys, I'm not an idiot. Please don't try to effing defraud me. Like, don't be like, oh yeah, I'm Silver Spring. Like, I'm going to figure out a way to verify that this is you. But if it's really you, then shoot me an email. Same thing with Rumsfield. I don't know what it is about Subscribestar. They must not take any data. I mean, that's fine. If, if you don't want to put your email address or your mailing address or any of that shit, you just want to be Rumsfield and that's it. That's fine. But it's just really going to be hard for me to track you down when I've got a gun that I want to give you. So Rumsfield, if you can prove your identity and that it correlates to your Subscribestar account, congratulations, you want a gun. Now, different story here with R 
Render. Mr. Render, uh, I just jokingly sent you an email. You're going to get it in your inbox. And you're going to be like, what in the hell is this? I just sent you an email. It just says congratulations. That's it. And finally, Brock G. Brock G. Brock, the name of my most favorite cat ever. So congratulations. Uh, belts, Blue Alpha Gear. You guys get a Blue Alpha gift certificate for $100. I just got, with my own money, the new EDC low vis, like low profile belt. And it's freaking phenomenal. It's the one that's $40. There's no huge buckle on the front. So it's like if you're wearing a fitted t-shirt, you don't have something protruding um, out of your belt line that isn't your wiener, if you know what I'm saying. So I really like that. Uh, C. Larkin, you won McElhaney 4 and Ricky A. Congratulations, you guys. Each got a hundred bucks to Blue Alpha. All right, that's all done with. Let's open some GD mail. I just went and picked up the mail the other day. The PO box was entirely full. So it's funny because I went like two months ago and there was nothing. And then, you know, I go two months later and it, it's there's no space in it. So I got all kinds of stuff. I'll try to make it snappy. Let's do it. Nakatomi Plaza, Christmas Party 88. My most favorite movie, Die Hard. And just because you and I are close personal friends because you're watching Mailroom. Uh, I do have another Christmas Die Hard movie video coming out uh, probably in a couple of weeks from when you watch this video. I'm really excited for it and I'm gonna try to make that an annual tradition. Do something like gun related, Die Hard related every year. I've been subscribed to TFB TV for about five years now. Dude, you've been around since like the beginning and you've been my favorite content creator on the channel ever since. Stay frosty, enjoy your new Die Hard t-shirt from Wyatt B. Dude, this makes me feel really good. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the fact that you like Die Hard and I appreciate the fact you sent in mail. Let's see what else we got. Holy crap, this cannot really be your last name. Van Valkenberg or something from Michigan. James, I've been watching TFB for a couple of months now and I have to say your reviews have helped tremendously. That's all I'm trying to do. We have fun and games on this channel, but we always, one goal of mine is to provide the most helpful review possible. For you guys so i'm glad to hear that after seeing your excitement over glock i've recently turned in my sig spartan 1911 in favor of a g48 good move i love sig but 1911 no sir you're way better off with a g48 don't get me wrong sig is a great manufacturer but let me say i now understand why you detest the 1911 piece of shit. the thing misfed or jammed semi-frequently at the range and i thought gee do i really want to entrust my life to this heavy old man of a gun Coming from the guy that sincerely loves his s and w m and I'm really thrilled to see what a Glock can do to mend a 1911 guy's broken heart, Troy. P.S. I don't know if you keep challenge coins. I do. In fact, I've got one under all this mail. I have a SEAL Team 7 challenge coin I got from my buddy Jack Carr, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, but if you do, here's one from my father's police department for your sarcastic ask. Keep Glock rocking, James. Thank you. Yeah, if you guys want to send in patches, you know, anytime I get a patch in from a viewer, it goes like somewhere where it's going to be visible in the patch wall behind me and challenge coins. I'm all for it, man. This, uh, this kind of stuff means a lot to me. Believe it or not, I'm very sentimental. And there's my wife screaming at the TV. What happened? And guys, I am kind of hard on 1911s. I, I have no problem. If that's what you want to carry, cool. You know, and then I did that video in the Bull Armory 2011, uh, double stack 1911. I'm going to have a follow-up on that, which is going to be a really interesting video. They just tend to not be reliable. I'm not saying that reliable 1911s don't exist. They certainly do, but I've, I've owned many. This is... Uh, a guy who thought 1911s were cool. You know, I'm not just breaking your balls just to be a dick about it or because I'm a Glock guy or a SIG guy or whatever. I, I mean, truly, 1911s, uh, when, when you have one that's reliable, they're great guns. How can you argue with that single action trigger? But capacity's low. If they're in 45, I mean, even worse, they're, they're steel, they're heavy. Uh, they just, they're just not that good. Okay, uh, Jamal and Kamal Inc., uh, this one is for the P.O. box next to mine. I guess I'll set that there. It looks like a bank statement. Epic Corporate Restructuring uh, E-Line Services, Inc. Once again, this is the next P.O. box over. Uh, USPS, you guys need to stop drinking. Wait, hold on a second. So if that's two letters that are going to the P.O. box next to mine, does that mean that you have like... E-Line Services, Inc. going to open their mail. They're looking for their bank statement and they get an anime titty mouse pad. I mean, is that what's happening down there? All right, Dallas, Texas. No return address. Got some cool, like, 
tropical Kygo vibe stickers from Beer and Bug Out, like beer, the letter N, Bug Out on Instagram. Thank you very much for sending these in. Guys, if you're pro gun, you've got like stuff you want to hawk or whatever, you're always free to send your stuff in. No letter, nothing, that's okay. I'm glad to promote you. Hope you get some followers, stuff like that. Thank you for the stickers. Oh, Pat Phoenix. P-A-T-F-E-N-I-S. Bet that's your real name. To James Reeves. Uh-oh, serial killer handwriting. Yo, it's your girl Welding Ginger from the Discord. It's official. Stubbs and I are Mr. and Mrs. Stubbs. We have a Discord. We have a chat room. I think the link doesn't work like half the time. Just email me if you want to get on there. There's We've got like six or 7,000 people, but... We have like maybe a hundred and so regular participants and one of them is Welding Ginger and one of them uh, is Stubbs and they are two valued members of the community and I would consider them to be friends even though we've never met. Thank you for the camera by the way. I sent them a camera for their wedding. It came in real handy when we went up Chimney Rock in our honeymoon. That's awesome. Stay classy, Ginger. P.S. Stubbs said hey and to tell you he said balls. PSS, enjoy the glow in the dark opossum. A very bright flashlight will charge it up so it'll glow brighter. Shid fard. Oh, God. I don't know what I expected. Um, it is a 3D printed glow in the dark possum. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations on your wedding. Uh, Jordan S. Washington. Let's see what you got. Feels like a patch. Hello, James. I wanted to send you a small token of my appreciation for you and TFB TV, so I included a small gift. I pimped out a Poverty Pony lower receiver and made a pretty sick AR pistol. I chose Scalar Works, and by the way, I don't know that it's actually pronounced Scalar Works. That's just how I pronounce it. They make pretty good stuff. I chose Scalar Works Iron Sights because OGs always rock irons. That's a good point. And they sent some cool stickers. It is kind of cool, like the uh, Star Wars theme. I like that. All but one, actually. Star Wars is pretty lame. You may get a kick out of slapping this decal on your gym bottle, cat, or next high point chambered in 10 mil. Keep up the good work spreading the 2A gospel. Doing it as best I can. P.S. I'm also including a kill patch from my flack. It's from my time at Bangor when I was doing nuke security in the Navy. Sincerely, did I say that right? Bangor? Bangor, that's what it looks like. Jordan Shepler, your bro forever. October 2020. Dude, thanks. Like stuff like this, you guys don't have to do this. You know, I, you know it means a lot to me, um, but you guys don't have to to do stuff like this. I will put it in a position of honor, as I do. We do it for the love, not for the money. We're supported by you guys through Patreon and Subscribestar, so that's why me and Jeezy don't need to accept like you know these three, four thousand dollar checks that they're just throwing out to these influencers, where it's like if you push thirty seconds of dungeon cbt hero the game or whatever uh, we don't do that we don't take money from manufacturers for good reviews we do it for you guys and i am thankful this thanksgiving uh, for that so thank you for watching please subscribe support us on patreon subscribe star but most of all have a great thanksgiving take care